sponsored by Winwing Technologies. They couldn't offer the full cockpit, but we think this is the next best thing. Hello valued viewers, I hope you're all doing very well. Today's very exciting, we get to have a look around the very soon to be released South Atlantic map in DCS, developed by Clark and John from Rasbam. Helping me today are Artie Auntie Gary Imulf. Say hello, guys. Hello. 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 We are cheating a little bit, I must admit, because this is my testing team, and they have been testing this map for well over six months, so they know a lot more about it than me. But I'm very excited to have a look around. First thing that springs to mind when you see it is the massive size. Width-wise, I measured 1,765 nautical miles, which is way bigger than any map we have. Height-wise, I measured about 506 nautical miles. It includes, of course, the Falklands Islands, or the Malvinas, you may call it. We've got the West Island. We've got the East Island. We've got the southern tip of Argentina here. Encapsulated in the red border is Argentina here, Argentina here, and everywhere else is the south of Chile. In terms of air bases, on the East Island of the Falklands, three air bases. We've got FARP at San Carlos. We'll have a look at all of this properly in 3D in a bit, obviously. We've got the big base at Mount Pleasant. We've got the base at Port Stanley. Moving over to the South American tip, we've got Argentina, Rio Gallegas. We've got Rio Grande. We've got two bases down here. Ushaya Hilo Port here. Ushaya, you know, normal runway here. And the fifth base on the southern tip of South America is Punta Arenas, and this is Chile. You'll note there is lots of infrastructure here. I mean, you know, not every house is modelled, but a lot of major cities are modelled. We've got Rio Gallegas here, various infrastructures and roads. We've got towns here in Chile. We've got towns here in Chile. Again, we'll go and look at this and see what it looks like. We've got Rio Grande modelled down here, more towns. So to describe the South America so far in terms of towns and infrastructures, we would say that the major cities are in, as well as the various roads and infrastructure. Some towns are in, but not all of them yet. Some villages are in, but not all of them yet. Needless to say, when the map comes out, it will be early access, it's work in progress, and a lot more stuff will be added and changed in the south of America. The Falklands Islands are a little bit different. Its level of completeness at this point is much higher. In terms of the small villages and hamlets that are on the islands, most of them are modelled. So to reiterate, the Falklands Islands, very high detail at the moment, just about everything's there. South America, the main bits are there, but more stuff's going to be added. Before we go and have a look around, let's have a look at some assets. So, UK, we have the Castle Class Corvette, Leander Class Frigate, HMS Invincible Aircraft Carrier. All of this is obviously going to be very important for reenactments that we do. And a Harbour Tug. For the Argentinians, Santa Fe Submarine and a Frigate. There are also other miscellaneous vehicles and objects. Welcome into the fly around. We're going to start on HMS Invincible with the nearest we can get to Sea Harriers. And we're going to fly around the major sites, starting with Port Stanley. Guys, let's take off HMS Invincible with her lovely Leander and Castle Escorts. Right, watch this go wrong. Yeah, I didn't even break my gear. Now the time I admit I've never done one of these before. <laughs> really? How long have you been on this map? New. A long time. Well, it's time to uh, get started. Remember, bungle those noodles right back as soon as you hit the uh, hit the ramp. Copy that. Thank you. Third man up. I will catch up. Right, guys. I'm going to head to Port Stanley. Let's go. The first question the Valley viewers are going to ask is at what year would the map be modelled on? Is there an official answer to that, guys? Or roughly what uh, stage? Wartime, post-war time, and so on. Post-war. Definitely post-war. Somewhere between post-war and present day. 
sometime during the last 40 years then. I've had a few goes on this map so far and the first thing I picked up when on the map was the really nice palette, if that's the right word, the colours that they used. It reminds me of the old kind of uh, 80s war footage that I used to really enjoy watching, that kind of really dark, musky uh, green that they use. As an island dweller in a terrain not too different from this, I feel very at home here. Is it the Orkneys you're at? Yeah, I'm in the Orkneys, but it's the same sort of heathy terrain and yep. the colours are, are really spot on. Roger, guys. Guys, in terms of the textures used, my understanding is that some of them, at least in the South America, came from satellites and some were made by hand. Can you talk about that a bit, please? Um, yeah, most of, the, most of the data comes from satellite imagery. Um, but obviously the, the satellites are taking imagery at all different types of day and different types of season um, so you're getting a, a, a patchwork quilt sort of effect when they stitch the images together the satellite company this is um, so you've got to go in by hand um, and and go over the, the whole terrain or a lot of the terrain to make it um, you know into it into one continuous sort of canvas if you like so it's, it's a lot of um, arduous work to be done Roger it's a lot of land mass here as well isn't it guys right here is Port Stanley as it is I don't want to say as it is today but as it is in modern times I guess would be the right thing to say guys the ship I've forgotten what the ship was called can you remind me <laughs> no in one wreck in the bay. Yeah. No one can remember. Anyway, it's that big rusty ship, and I've forgotten what it is, and I should have researched it, and I've forgotten. But I did watch a program on it not too long ago on the History Channel. Next thing I noticed, guys, is obviously loads of detail around the houses and the roads and stuff like that. The roofs are all crazy colours. To begin with, I thought that was a embellishment by Clark and Co. But as I understand it, they are actually like that, guys. Yep, they're accurate. Who the heck has a blue roof? Oh, this has actually changed a lot even since last time I was here. I'm just going around thinking ah, this was nothing like this last time I was there. It's pretty cool. I'm not sure why the airfield's on fire. I'm just going to not even question that, guys. <laughs> Auntie crashed there, I think. Now I spawned in and um, it crashed straight away. So there you I go. don't know what's happened there, but now, I'm going to have to look at that. When I spoke to Clark not too long ago when we were... Here. he mentioned that he wanted to get the detail of the ground really high because he wanted to base this on flying it from helicopters so low down we need lots of detail can someone talk about that please yes that's that's absolutely right he is a helicopter guy and he's one of these uh, main um, drives was to make sure that the low level scenery was good enough to be seen from a helicopter. I've spent most of my time on this map flying with helicopters and it really is a good experience. Moderati. All right, what are some good uh, landmarks around the area for Cap to check out? There are the stones, there's the port, the town, some details about the airfield. Nice route through to Mount Pleasant or something. Roger, guys. Um, in terms of distances, is it too far to fly to Mount Pleasant or do you want to spawn over there? No, it's perfectly flyable. 
Anyone got a vector on it, please? I can see it from here. Mm -hmm. Just be a uh, southwest gun. Roger. Yeah, Stand by. Slow the coast around to the southwest. 250. Now, this is what I was saying about there's a lot of little buildings and hamlets that are modelled with these little buildings. So there's a lot of detail gone into uh, the Falklands at the moment as compared to the, the land masses in South America, as we will see. I love these little mountains with the rocks on top. They're quite cool. I should say, uh, for fairness, I am running this with an AMD 5900X with a 3080 graphics card. Below you can see the wind turbines turning. Yep. Wasn't there also some killer whales or something in the sea? I've forgotten. There was something, wasn't there? Killer whales, penguins, yeah. shipping. Sheep. Yeah. Sheep, I haven't seen that yet. Uh, the cranes also move. Uh, wind turbines move. There's billboards at uh, certain places around the airfields and so on that uh, um, are animated. You've still got your flaps down. Whoopsie. Oops. I think there's uh, lighthouses as well, aren't there? Yep, there's definitely yep, lighthouses. Yes. lighthouses. Blown one up. Uh, one thing I mentioned was that, uh, to the guys, I said, when we did this map, I said, guys, can you make it uh, like sun so you can see everything? And the guys came back with, well, the thing is, Cap, in the Falklands, the weather is notoriously bad, so it would kind of give a false um, impression of what it's like. So the weather, uh, I believe, is notoriously bad over here. Windy and kind of dark. This sun over to your left hand side, you can see the change in the landscape okay. with the sunny. Uh, yeah, and of it's... course, you've got to remember that the seasons here are inverted. Right. So, so January, February is summer. It's yeah, kind of funny. It's inverted. <laughs> well, it's normal for us. But the map yeah. really shines in, you know, foggy, glim, gloomy conditions. Yeah. And again, when I look, think about my uh, 1982 footage, it did all look like this. It was always overcast. Nice little hamlet here. Right, I think that must be Mount Pleasant. Nothing great base as you can see. This has changed since I saw it. Pretty good details down there. reason that I'm kind of showing you from the cockpit of an aeroplane viewers is that this is how 99% of you guys are going to see it so it kind of made sense to me Now we've got a little port section to the south here, guys. Isn't it the only deep water port in the island? Something like that, when we were talking about it last. I think there's a deep water port at um, Port Stanley as well. Roger. Yeah, I'm not sure where I got that from, actually. You must be right. Uh, because yeah, I think cruise pleasant. ships and stuff go into Stanley. Yeah, they had the World War One battle up at Stanley, didn't they? The, uh, yeah. 
where the Shone horse was sunk. Mount Pleasant was opened by Prince Andrew on in 1985. Very much, three years after the war. Right, got there. Turbines, rocks, lighthouse. Right guys, I've had a nice look around Mount Pleasant. Where are we off to next? It's gonna be San Carlos, isn't it? Where the Battle of San Carlos happened. Okay, we're off to San Carlos. I'm gonna do some proper Sea Harrier, Nap of the Earth stuff, I've decided. In fact, no, not the Sea Harrier. What would it have been, GR4s? 1982, GR1s? GR3. 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 yeah. Boys knowing more about Britain than me. So that kind of murky colour that we've got here, green. Very cool. The streams are very cool. Let's go and have a look at the streams actually. Come on, left, Gary. Uh over this way. Yeah, I'm just having a look at the streams between Mount Pleasant and San Carlos. Very sexy. Right, I'm now going to head towards San Carlos and I'm going over the peaks. There is the water between the two islands. Over these peaks we should find San Carlos. Maybe a little bit further actually. You're not quite halfway there, Cap. Watch out. What's another place to check out? Goose Green? Something like that? Ooh. I don't know where that is, guys, by the way. I'm reading about it in a book, but I don't actually know where it is. Not far it's from St. Carlos. It's at your three o'clock, Cap. Yeah, if you look to your three o'clock, you can see there's a sort of spit of land coming across, the two, and there's sort of the two pieces of water either side of it. All right, well, let's go there, guys. Why not? This is the first time for me as well. Goose Green is where, in the Falklands War, the Argentines moved their Pucaras to. Mm -hmm. And they also were building a napalm stock there. Luckily they didn't get to use it. I know they shot down, at least, that's where they shot down the helicopter, the Scout, didn't they? The Westland Scout. I think it was a goose screen. Yeah. That's even weird having a war over such a relatively small piece of land. I mean, we're literally flying over it very quickly in Harriers. Well, you wouldn't get members complaining about long ferry times. No, you wouldn't, would you? In fact, that's quite cool. So where is it, RT? Where's Goose Green? Right. It's, it's almost on my nose now. If you look down this sort of strip of land in front of us, ah. there's a halfway down it, there's a sort of peninsula that sticks out. I see. So when you said uh, three o'clock, you meant nine o'clock, RT. Yeah, maybe. Right. Mm. Excellent. You can news. see the red buildings near a peninsula cap. I, mean, I believe that's Goose Green Farm. Yeah, Goose Green Farm is modelled on the map. Um, the actual sort of airfield, whatever you sort of have to put in yourself Coming. if you want it. Coming. I'm just over flying Bruce Green now.
Right, so that there is his green. Hmm, how interesting. Red buildings, that's Goose Green Farm, is it, guys? Yeah. Right, turning to San Carlos. Roger. Mm -mm -mm. Right, 12 miles to the north. This is my favorite part of the map because of the, uh, the Battle of San Carlos, the attacks on the British shipping by the uh, Argentinian Skyhawks Mirages. Cap, nice water detail back there to our left. Mm -hmm. Ah, we passed it now. Yeah, I see it. It's like algae or something, isn't it? Hmm. Or probably shallows. Right, here we are at San Carlos Bay. Oh, you've been missing ships in, aren't you? Yeah, thought you'd appreciate that. Mm hmm. I'm going to just swoop over San Carlos Bay and then I'm going to go and get in a helicopter down there, guys, just to show the viewers some details down there. During the Falklands War, the main ships weren't actually in San Carlos water. It was mm. too constricted and too shallow. They were in Falkland Sound, which is just sort of uh, the main channel between yep. the East and West Falklands. Out there, yeah. And that's where a lot of them got hit, wasn't it? Yeah. Guys, I'm getting in a belly bopper. Right, to move to a helicopter in San Carlos. Watch me crash this horribly. Be good fun. Comms check. There we go. Hello, uh, Gary. Yep, cool. So this stuff at San Carlos is kind of like an aluminium... Uh, what do you call it, guys? Not netting. It's like a flooring. I'm thinking the name of the right for a second. Had a matting. Anyone going to tell them about the, the, uh, the story about the tree at the end of San Carlos? Well, how many times I flew into it? How do you know that story? Because I was there, I think. You had to get it removed, didn't you? Oh, I don't know if that was actually me, but... Uh, these rubber things, they're fuel bladders, aren't they, guys? Yes, fuel bladders. Yeah. Again, a nice wind turbine going around. Yep. I love this little... Um, the little port of San Carlos, just to the north. Ba -ba -ba. Very nice, guys. Right, anything else on the Falklands Islands before we head over to South America, guys? Uh, on West Falklands, there's just more kind of farms like this, I believe. No real towns or settlements, per se. Roger, is there anything kind of, in terms of the video length, is there anything worth going to have a look at, any special features worth going to have a look at? Well, any other points of the war that people are going to want to see. I don't really know much about that. Roger, okay. West Pebble Island, I guess. Where's Pebble Island, are yeah. To the northwest. Standby Valley viewers as we transport ourselves to Pebble Island. Alright guys, uh, I haven't been here before, but I love the grass. Grass is pretty. Let me go and have a look in my Apache with terrible visibility. It's pretty, it's pretty. Not very pebbly. There's actually a little base here. I know it's not a proper airfield, but there's a little there's a little kind of grass strip, guys. Um, and he's put some of those in, isn't he? 
Yeah, and they, um, they may be active later. I think yeah. I'm still working on it. Evidently still usable for this sort of thing. There's a couple of demolished houses here. You can tell we've been here. Oh. I'm not sure how long it'll take you to get 37 miles. Oh. Uh, on the bearing of 260, there's a, an early warning radar station up there. That's going to take forever, aren't it? I think we should hop over to South America, guys. Welcome back. We are now at the northmost in this map, the northmost Argentine base, Rio Gallegas. Probably the best thing is actually. I we out like this just to give you an idea of the size of the infrastructure that we've got modeled and it's lots so there is our base there how it goes and there is the town it's very detailed as you'll see it's got some really cool features actually as I remember like little diggers and stuff like that guys is that a race circuit it is isn't it? it is a race circuit I remember Yes, yes, also one of Rio Grande as well. And if you have uh, civilian traffic turned on, there will actually be cars on that. Cool, very good. Right, guys, uh, I'm off. Smell you later. Right, look for a red sign. Right, we're going to have a fly around Rio Gallegas, guys. There's pretty houses. Now, you watch me get onto the wrong runway. Okay, it's going to be a right turn here, isn't it? And. I'm off. Catch me if you can. Right, over the base. So, guys, in the war, they would have been launching, what, Skyhawks? Anyone know? Or was it Mirages from Rio Gallegas? I'm not sure which one from each base, but, um, Mirages, I believe. Yeah. Where's that digger, guys? I love the digger. Loads of detail. In terms of the detail, actually, what about people with bad computers? Can you turn the detail level down? I guess it's all controlled by game, right? Yep. Yeah. Same controls as any other map. Look at that valley viewers, look at all that housing. Why is you not reminds me of Sim City? Compare this to an English town, very logical. English towns are just all over the place. Not that you care, but. Regarding the performance cap, it's improved vastly over the sort of last six months we've been testing. Yep. I've got a fairly low end by modern standards computer. Yeah. Uh, it's a fourth gen Intel. I've got. Uh, GTX 1080 Ti graphics card and I'm flying VI 32 gig of RAM and I'm getting perfectly acceptable frame rates around about 45 frames per second so I really can't complain. Andrea? Yeah, for me it just feels like, to be honest, any other town in DCS would be not, I mean, not amazing in terms of performance, just, I don't know, normal. Yeah, more of of an anecdote than for the video, but it has come a long way in that regard. A 
of detail. That is really cool, guys. Box me very busy. There are huge amounts of detail on some of the sort of uh, walls down in the street corners. There's mm. even sort of bits of graffiti and stuff. Yeah, a lot of the stuff you're only going to see, I guess, with combined arms and stuff. Yeah. It's worth pointing the unoccupied. Uh, I'll start it again. Yeah, I know what you mean. The I empty mean blocks again. of the city uh, are actually empty in real life. Yeah. Does anyone know what that is, by the way? Got asked that last time. Planned development, but never got there. Yeah, it's weird, isn't it, guys? Right, guys. That is... Oh, you know what? A great way of showing the valued viewers. And for the lols. Watch this. What are we doing, Cap? Ah, uh, you don't need to do it. Don't you worry. It's a super Cap I'm thing. I'm right here with you. Okay, well, then you follow me. The best way to look at a town, and you get to take a bog town with you guys. No, you won't, because it won't eject. Ah! What kind of plane is a friggin' safety for an ejection lead? There we go. Bog, go to space! And this is much more my kind of speed, guys. Air balloon speed. It's pretty, yeah. it's pretty. Is it a big cross on the ground? That's surely what I should aim for. You aim for the cross, Gary. Oh, I apologise, Rio Grande. Not Rio Grande, Rio Gallagher. Oh, I just... I don't know, that was you, wasn't it? Very nice, guys. Very nice. Right, we're going to hop to the next town. Where you want to go? Where you want to go? Uh, is... Rio Grande, probably. Rio Grande. Right, same thing, guys. Uh... Rio Grande. That's for some reason I keep calling it Rio Grande. So let's do an overview and see what we can see. So you kind of got that there. All modelled. Again, it's got these weird things where house. Oh, yeah, where weird houses aren't built, but that's kind of like as it is in real life, which is kind of weird. But Argentina, yo. We haven't got any Argentinians, have we? We haven't got any Argentinians. No. Yes, Gary. Somebody on the contract, on the council. Got a contract. Yep. Oh. They had a they had a road building company. I bet there's some corruption going on there, Gary. Not that there's anything. Not in like Argentina. Argentina. Not, no, not, not in Argentina. Argentina. No, never. No, never. Oh, there we go. Look, football, soccer. They do like their soccer. Right, guys. I'm going to take off from Rio Grande. Again, catch me if you can. Hmm. Where be the runway? Beep, beep, behind beep, beep. I, I know what the BP is now, guys. Yeah. It's the ejection hat. It's behind us. Right. Come on, then. Come on, then, you lot. Fire truck. Oh, 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 oh. But the wow. level of detail that they put into these airports is incredible. All the trucks and chocks on the ground. All that sort of stuff. Guys, I found out that you can uh, tip a hornet. I just figured it had an itchy nose. Well, you can tip it on, right? Yep. That's right. Never done it before. Come on, you lot. Stop lily gaggling. Or lily goggling. Whatever the word is. Lolly gagging. Lolly gagging. There it is. Right, I'm off. No time for formation takeoffs here. Not when we've got Rio Grande to see. I love that purple building. Are you lot still arguing about the purple building, or we're not? I'm not going to admit to it. No, that's the colour it is. All right. All right. Just saying. It's beautiful, isn't it? It's like cobalt blue. I think it's very nice. It's the pride of Rio Grande. Oh. I have a problem with my graphics card going up. There we go. Fixed. Mirrors in. There's a digger! I found a digger! It's moving! They make it move now. Wow. It's moved so do the cranes. How about that? Yeah, we've got boats in the harbours. Yep. Yeah. 
pretty. So pretty, 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 pretty. I like it I quite like it how Clark has refused the urge to make the kind of greenery too green uh, like I would do. Just kept it nice and muggy, just like it is in real life. Well, as I assume it is in real life. I'm sure it is in real life. Well, I would say that's one of the main benefits of using satellite imagery. You, you get a more realistic palette. I love the um, uh, the channel. The channel looks gorgeous in DCS, but I can tell you that is not the colour of England. That well, I can tell you, boy. It is in June. That was nonsense, <laughs> auntie. It's never. It's never. It's they, they make paint it so it looks like Spain with the beautiful vineyards. And it doesn't look like that. I've never seen a bit of England look like that. Just saying. Hey, I'm just saying. Hey, this green and pleasant land. Go karts, race track. That's fun. Look at that. Alright, guys, I'm going for a supercat special. Actually, no, there's a bridge I want to go and check out. pretty. Right, I'm off. It's pretty, it's pretty. Real pretty like. South of here we've got the uh, Ishwea uh, heliport and and also runway. Roger guys. I was just getting some uh, I was just getting some nice shots. Right, let's see where we're going next. Ushwea. Ushwea, guys. Uh, the ports are used a lot for deploying Antarctic missions. Is this at Ushwea? Uh, not, yeah, not just by Argentina either. I think other countries use the port. Right, guys, welcome to Ushwea, which I always pronounce wrong. Wrong. The reason I like it is it's in the mountains. And the mountains on this map, as I would tell you, are gorgeous. Oh, sorry, as you're about to find out, I meant to say. Look at that. Look at that. It's like the Alps. Beautiful snow-capped mountains, town that goes up the mountain, and then into a port with this gorgeous natural-looking water. I think it's beautiful. Right, guys, I am going flying. Uh, my frame rates will drop a bit, Valley viewers, because um, it's something about the Apache for me. It just runs really slow at the moment. I don't know why. Can't do much about it. If you have your mirrors on again, turn that Roger. off. You'll get considerably more frame. Yeah. Look at that. Look at those gorgeous colours. Ushuaia as a city is pretty well done. The, the detail is quite extensive. There you go. You guys. Pretty is. It's pretty, guys. It's pretty. Now, I'm someone who prefers prefers function over form, but still. I can appreciate pretty guys. Going down for a close up. Going to I'm um, going down to the sports hall. I'm right at the top, right at the top of the town where it goes up the mountain. Look at those terraces. I wonder how many polygons are rendering. rendering. It must be millions.
I wonder how well this map is going to handle. We've just got a few testers on this, just a handful of the guys. I wonder how well it's when it's released and we get all of the Grim Reapers on and we have 50 player maps. I wonder how, 50 player missions, sorry, how it's going to, how it's going to handle it. It should be interesting. There's only one way to find out, obviously, and that's do it, so. Well, we fight over much larger cities as is. Places like Dubai, yeah, Damascus, we do. Beirut, so I'm hoping it should be pretty good. Yeah, it just about works on those, doesn't it? Just. They work pretty hard on optimizing it, so I'm sure there's more they could do, but over time, but um, certainly in our testing, they've it's come a long way. You guys, right? Absolutely. Well, that this is my favorite. I've had a good look around. This is my favorite one so far. Um, anything about Ushuaia, guys? No, oh, it's nothing. A beautiful area. Roger, one thing to Other say. Than yes, I mean, you can point out the obvious. It's, it's also got the uh, secondary, or, or should I say, the primary airbase as well out there on a kind of little. Not island, but you know what I mean. Peninsula bit. I think there's an interesting story between behind that airport that uh, the first runway was built and it was all good and well, but then they realised realised it was completely against the prevailing winds, huh. and then in true fashion had to rebuild the airport with a more usable runway. Guys, is this Chile or? Oh, this is Argentina, yeah. still capital. Argentina. That's a pretty building. Found a funny building. Want to go and look at it? So I think this is uh, the southernmost city in the world. It's somewhat of a tourist really? spot for that region. And uh, yeah, also the launching point for many Antarctic expeditions. Okay. That is true. It is the main Antarctic base for um, for Argentina. Yeah. Right, guys. Very cool. Uh, I mean, look, I'm mean, flying through here with vegans at uh, 500 knots. It's going to be mega. You're never going to see any of the detail, but going to be cool. Guys, I want to go to the next town, so stand by. Uh, 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 uh. On that note, yeah, going on through some of the valleys and um, I don't know what the right word for the, the water is, but following the terrain around here can be quite fun. I should say, I don't know if we're going to get a chance to look at it. It depends where we've got the aircraft spawn, but there's some lovely kind of glacial mountains. Maybe we can try and find a glacial mountain, maybe even with this if spawn. You go from Punta Arenas. Oh, well, Cap, you know, you're going to show it off in plenty yeah, of videos sure. soon enough anyway. Roger, well, but let's go to Punta Arena, Sky, and, and, and yep. have a look there. So this is our last city, as it's our last kind of um, airport and airport town that we're going to show off, I guess you'd call it. One interesting fact about this airport is all the runway markings are in yellow because there's a lot of snow here and you can't see the runway markings when they're white. Follow-up question, does that mean it's the same on all snow runways? No idea, but I, I know that's the reason that these runway markings are yellow. Look at you memorising some trivia, aren't you? I'm going to have to take you to next my next general trivia pub quiz, which I'm terrible at, by the way. <laughs> Look at the guys in their nerdy milsim. See you. I'm out of here. <laughs> Bye, Gary. I'm going to get in trouble now, aren't I? No, I'm going to join you. Here we are. Right, guys. Uh, 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 uh. Can anyone remember which way the city is? Because I've forgotten already. Should be to the south. South. Right, and that is this way. Punta Arenas. Now, is this one in Chile? It is, isn't it? Correct. It is, yes. Our beloved Elkin is from Chile. Chile is a very long country, and this is obviously just the southern tip. Same with Argentina, really. I, I believe this is the largest city in the map. Right. I'm not actually sure I've been here yet, which is going to be interesting, guys. Right. Last year on this map, it was just being finished off. Right. So, yeah. I don't think there's anything... Yeah. So remember, all the buildings here are a placeholder. The architectural style is still very much that of Argentina. Yeah. But the layout of the city is correct. Yeah. So they're going to change it for more realistic housing. Is that the right? Thing Hopefully to say? down the line. Yeah. I, I believe that's the plan. Pretty good. Right. I've resisted the urge to go over the city at Mark One because I realised it doesn't actually help anyone. So I'm just going to. Sit idly by. Have no, I haven't noticed look. any cool features like race tracks or anything no. like that here. 
This is what we call a bog standard town, guys. Yeah, it is. It's pretty much just kind of housing and stuff. That's fine. Bye, guys. I want to go and see Glacier. Take me, take me. Where are we going? <laughs> no. It's one of the big tall things that point to the sky. The tall things in the sky? Right. Watch how quick I can get there. How far is it, guys? I don't want to go if it's like 500 miles. Uh, it is like 500 miles, isn't it? Can we put another spawn in there so I can show the valued humanoids what a... Uh... There are some spawns in there, yeah. Auntie, you're just too good to us, aren't you? Follow me in our slow-bottomed bog. I'm going to just nap the earth stuff for the valued humanoids. If that's what they really are. I have my doubts. Hmm. No comment. So well, this... Don't get me wrong, I think so this is just kind of like barren terrain, isn't it? I wonder if it's actually like that in real life. This sure area. Is. But that, because countries like this, yeah, it's countries like this just have land, more land than they, you know, it's very different to England where every single bit is built on pretty much. Or if it's not built on, it's a farmer's field or something. I'm not used to countries like this. Right, that sweet, sweet radar warning. Off you go. Do some drag, guys. If you head two six zero degrees, you'll uh, hit a patch of mountains in uh, about forty miles, and, and then there's a glacier there. And then if you head north from there, you'll be able to follow the glaciers all the way up the mountains. And out the other side. I'm going. I'm going. I'm going. I'm going. Oh, it's a lovely bit of water here, guys, and it is very watery around here. Again, in your huge lakes, I mean, look at the size of that, that lake, 40 miles across, it's massive. And this bit of Chile here, where's the border? There's the border, that dark line there. This bit of Chile here, I'm reading about in World War One, where they would have the, the, the dreadnoughts go in and hide, and it's very cool, guys. A lot of this area of the map is uh, is still under construction, so you can both see the odd Absolutely. pyramid and yeah, you know, some very funny cliffs. But you know, it's uh, it's a lot it's of work in this area. Expected it's a lot of. Work. Oh, big cloud happened. We're pretty up here, but no use to anyone. I'm going back down. How far now, Auntie? Uh, about 20 miles or so. Done. We're going in a dive, have guys. Have you done yes? any high altitude shots? Because it can look quite impressive up high. Sounds like a challenge, Gary. Sounds like a challenge. Oh, it does, doesn't it? Wow, look at that. Guys, I did this got this amazing shot. That looks so cool. Is it clever what computers can do nowadays? Not like in my day. Sure. Oh, my first game was Pong. Pong. A little bit different to Pong. The, the bat and ball game. I mean, this is really difficult. Different to that. A bit better than Aviator on the BBC Micro. Mm -hmm. Where you used to have to fly a supposed Spitfire and shoot down aliens, which were basically triangles. Well done. It does look very nice up high. Yeah. But go horizontal because you're not actually going anywhere. You want me to go somewhere now, aren't you? Right, okay. Horizontal yeah, coming two, right two, up. 255 five, five degrees. 255. Five, five. Challenge complete. Sounds complete, were you? That's a very nice guy. Auntie, did you do a lot of tiling in this sort of uh, area of Chile? Sorry, what was that? I got drowned out you, by Cap's engines. Hmm. Did you do uh, a, a lot of scenery tiling in this sort of area? Yeah, I've done a bit. Um, there's still a lot to do, though. Um, you know, 
there's a there's a lot where you've got to blend tiles next to each other things like that and it's uh, it can be quite painstaking or it can be a 10 minute job it just depends on on the data uh, from the satellite okay on to him at the mountains removing clouds yeah removing clouds is the worst part ah uh, removing clouds right yeah a supersonic over which are they now or are we yep. Oh, we're well into Argentine. God, this is so big, guys. Two five zero degrees um, for for ten miles. And right, ten miles. But a duck under the clouds. So, and you'll, yep, and you'll see a glacier straight in front of you. Mm. Well, this terrain, guys, is gorge, absolutely gorge. Look at that. That's boulder park. Here we come. Good job, I gave you three fuel bags. So it is. I managed to get this bog up to mark 1.5. Those skinny wings are going to fall off. Right. I'm coming through. Last mich Deutsch. Oh, okay. These mountains are dangerously it's high. It's going to be very challenging Don't with you... uh, bad weather. Challenging is my middle name, Auntie. Where am I going? Straight ahead. Coming. Wow, look at these peaks, guys! I guess my only complaint about this, guys, is that there's no air bases near it. So we can't actually really use it. Right? Or am I wrong? Wait. Put a camera right. there. Camp for hello. There's just no bases. And you can put a FARP in for Harriers and helicopters. No, we, we could be supporting a huge naval battle. Ships yeah. trying to find each other and all this water. There's lots of possibilities. Glacier right underneath. Is this the, the big one? This you can just put a carrier off the coast. Of yeah, like... if you turn right here and follow it up, you can go up and down the other side. Look at this, guys. That is a massive glacier. So this would have come from satellite imagery, right? There's actually a bigger one somewhere, but I'm never going to find it by, you know, by fluke. But yeah, look at that. Gorgeous. But yes, yeah, from satellite imagery. Yeah. This is amazing at sunrise or sunset as well. Gary, are you saying that Clark didn't go out with his camera and photograph his Cessna every single bit? Is that what you're saying? I'm saying that I'm saying he went out of his satellite in that cab. Right. Yeah. Elon Musk must yeah, have helped him. Look at this valley humanoids. We've gone from the kind of murky, um, kind of grassy Falklands to. I don't know. I keep saying the Alps because that's the nearest mountain to them too. Himalayan type. Guys, what mountain range is this called? I don't know. Andes. Andes. That's what I said. It's the Andes. Water. I think I found another one, guys. I found another... Um, what are they called? I've gone. Oh, I can see into Chile. Look, I can see into Chile. Look at that. I can see the sea. Like 100 miles away. Here's another one. Another glacier. Look at this glacier, you guys. There's actually a carrier over there. Oh, I thought the best way of ending the video as well. I'm going to land on a glacier. <laughs> Good luck. I don't, I've never tried it. We don't need luck, aren't we? Right, guys. Do it, Captain. Yeah. That's right. Um, I think, in my mind, we've showed off the kind of main aspects. We, you know, we, we could spend hours going out around every little town and stuff, but it's just going to put people off if we get too detailed. Um, I'm, anything anyone else kind of wants to mention or any bits, important bits I've forgotten, guys? I think you've definitely got the highlight reel. I don't think, I don't think you can show here, but uh, certainly uh, the naval aspect in terms of creating missions and that probably needs a mention, but it's very hard to show. Right, guys. Lots of opportunity for air-to-air -air refueling on missions here. Roger. Oh, I am going to... bit air refueling. Hmm. There's going to be... Yeah, there is going to be lots of that, isn't there? <laughs> I'm going to land on this glacier. Come and land with me. One who lands best gets a medal. Be Are you sure that's a glacier, that. Cap? Yeah, it's You're definitely a glacier. The no, this is a glacier. I think he's going to turn back. Don't worry, guys. You worry a lot. Oh, I see the glacier. Ouch. Sonic boom hurt. Oh, look at that gorge. That hurt my ears. I'm guessing you land all the widest bits. Mm hmm. I haven't landed on that many glaciers, Gary. I know you think I have. Just hope. 
Yep, I just signed up for GR because of your glacier landing <laughs> experience. True. Another such shenanigans. Just hope they didn't uh, model ravines. Uh, mm. Crevasses. Mm -hmm. Have a good crevasse. Oh, there are some very narrow uh, passages in these mountains. This is easy. In fact, we were, the, the Star Wars experience is quite amazing. Cap, you going gear down or up? Uh, yeah, down. I think, unless cool. I've forgotten it. I think I've forgotten them. No, they're down. I wonder when you guys. Oh, it's, it's almost like there's no challenge, guys. Well, there isn't in the F-18. It can land on anything, can't it? It's, uh... It's somebody's favourite. Mm, yes. Quite. And try that with a 16 or a Mirage, and uh, I don't think that'll work. Gary kept his bags all. Alright guys, so we ended the little look around landing on a giant glacier, which is kind of cool, right? Um, I hope you enjoyed our initial look around. Obviously things will be changed and added and because, well, that's what Clark said. Um, we're going to wait for this flyby and then we will see you later.